Hello, and welcome to the Rice County Historical Society. My name is Liz Kramer, and today I'm going to be showing you a 1920s style farm kitchen. A farm kitchen would have had no electricity or traditional indoor plumbing, and some of the elements of the kitchen may be familiar, while others are foreign to us now. There is a telephone in this 1920s kitchen, because many farm homes had telephones long before they had electricity. Cupboard space in the kitchen is provided by a Hoosier cabinet, which is a style of furnishing that was very popular in the early 20th century. There's a coffee mill to grind the coffee beans by hand. And to dry your hands, there's a continuous roller towel by the sink. And the sink would not have had running water. The dirty water would empty into a bucket under the sink cabinet. Drinking and cooking water would be brought into the kitchen in a pail from the well outside. And water for washing up and things would come from rainwater collected and pumped up by the cistern pump. This water would not have been used for drinking or cooking. Kerosene lamps were used to provide light in the kitchen. And the kitchen would have a wood-burning cook range. Cooking and baking were done here year-round. And water was often heated here as well, especially in the winter. While the wood-burning range warmed the kitchen in the winter, it could really heat up the kitchen in the summer. So sometimes a small kerosene stove was used instead, and the cooktop became more counter space until the weather cooled off. The stove was greatly appreciated in the winter, although you did have to constantly fuel it with wood, coal, or corn cobs, and the reservoir had to be refilled with water from the well. I hope you enjoyed this chance to step into a traditional farm-style kitchen from the 1920s, Rice County Historical Society, preserving the past for future generations.